Hello and welcome back to a new video. My name is Rekik. If you are new here, lovely to have you. You clicked on this video for a reason. This is the reason. So let me go ahead and take y'all through my current wash and go routine. You won't want to miss it. Highly requested. This is highly requested. So keep watching. First things first, I'm going to wash my hair. Clearly you can see it's in need of it. This is the side of the curly hair you may not see. <laughs> So I actually like to start with conditioner to soften up my hair and to get through the detangling part. Then without washing the conditioner out, I massage shampoo onto my scalp mainly to get rid of any buildup or any dirt I have. Then I rinse it all out and I may go into a hair mask if I feel like my hair needs it, something like Ozzy's 3 Minute Miracle. But if y'all want a more detailed wash day video, just let me know in the comments below. All right, so I am now out of the shower. When I apply these next products, I like to do it straight out of the shower. I like my hair to be pretty damp. It's not that damp now, so we're gonna dampify it. I've never done this before, but I put some of my leave-in conditioner in here with the water, shook it up, and I'm getting some slip already, so maybe that's something I'll start incorporating with my wash and go. I've been using this one. I think I've only used Garnier, Garnier, Garnier. I've only used this brand for shampoo and conditioner, but I've really been liking their leave-in conditioner. I like how it smells. But my favorite, this classic as I am leave-in conditioner, I love it. Ugh, I'm out. <laughs> as I am, if you wanna send me some, Hit your girl up. I used to not work in sections when I did my wash and goes because I just liked to do it quick and just be in and be out. But taking my time and really focusing on my curls and how they feel and if they're enjoying the products has made all the difference and has really been able to amplify my wash and go routine. So that's why I'm finally making this video. I know it's been a while, but my hair constantly changes. It likes products and then it doesn't like products. It turns on me. So it's really important for me to constantly try to see what works with my hair and what doesn't. And y'all should know by now, I'm not gonna come and make a video and show these products if it's not really working for me and I'm not actually doing this method. Now that I've done this several times, I know that it works and I'm here to share it. I think putting the leave-in in the spray bottle is my new favorite thing. I'm gonna continue working on my right side just to give y'all the fullness of what I do to get the perfect wash and go. I use this brush. I was not a fan of this. I actually despised this brush. I was like, this brush is a scam until I used it. <laughs> actually, until I used it properly. If you use this on dry hair, you're gonna have a very hard time. It's going to be painful. But if you use this underwater, if you use this on wet hair, damp hair, game changer. I'm not too mad at how it feels right now. I could still rake my fingers through it. So that is workable for me. I don't wanna continuously brush it not necessary. So step two, I'm now going to go in with some oil, 100% wonder oil. So many oils are in this and my scalp loves it. It drinks it all up. But I also like to use straight jojoba oil because this wonder oil has a nozzle on it. I'm going to slide that in against my scalp to make sure it is completely moisturized. Going from the front to the back, focusing on the areas that I know my hair has dryness. And I'm not really combing this into my hair, I'm just massaging it into my hair. Massage your scalp more often. So just going in with a little bit more jojoba oil, a little bit more wonder oil, a little air kiss. <laughs> And I'm just gonna begin working that in a little more on those dry parts because they need a little extra TLC. I get it. I get it, girl. I got you. So now that it's oiled up, it's time for the final product, which is my favorite. Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. I love you. This has just 
it's undefeated. I don't know what else to say. It just, it gives you that form. It gives the curl hold and it doesn't add any crunchiness so that when the hair is fully dry, I could still get so much more body out of it. I don't like the other ones though. I only like the pillow soft curls. So, <laughs> Miss Jessie. I like to work in four sections. So I'm just going up right here by my ear, sliding it up and through. We're gonna go in with the fake dime size. <laughs> it's still kind of thick, but it does have movement. And starting at the root of my hair, I always like to start at the root. I'm gonna slowly apply it in. Yeah, buddy. So once I feel like that section has enough of styling lotion, I'm gonna pop this baby back open. All right, this is very unconventional, but I like to place the styling lotion somewhere nearby, usually on a tabletop, so that when I'm going through curl by curl, I could just quickly dab and continue moving rather than having to open that up over and over again. So now this is the most important step. I mean, the products are really important to know what your hair likes and doesn't like, but this is what gives me that really curly, really bouncy final product that I, I just love it. This might not be comfortable for some of you, but this is what I do. I hold this hair up, dip my finger in some of that styling lotion that's on that bottle, and starting from the bottom, making sure there's enough product on my root, I grab it, go through it with my fingers if it's a little tangled, and starting from the root, I wrap my finger like this. And this doesn't cause me any pain, this is not difficult because the product gives my hair slip already. There she goes. So like I said, dab, grab, apply, detangle, and twist. Oh, that's a chunky piece. Sometimes I have to give it a few twirls, some movement, some jiggles to get the curl set. But once it's set, I don't touch it again. I don't mess with it again. I just leave it like it is. If you saw with that last piece, I actually grabbed a pretty thick piece. And in some places I like to do that because when my hair is completely dry, it gives me the freedom to separate those curls and get way more volume than I would if I went curl by curl. And it's just too tedious to go curl by curl. When I'm doing this and not talking and explaining, I go by pretty fast. Okay, now let me finish. If you're attempting to do this method and you're having trouble, your hands keep getting stuck when you're twirling, like they just get stuck right there, you just have to pull it out, make sure it's fully detangled and keep that movement. It also may mean you don't have enough slip in your hair. So you need to find a product or oil that allows you to get a little bit more slip out of it. That will make your styling process so much easier. Once I start getting towards the middle of my head, I like to make these pieces much smaller. The hair type in the middle of my head is tighter than the hair that surrounds my head. So it's actually just less hassle for me when it comes to the drying process and wearing it for a few days when the middle of my head doesn't have to go through so much volumizing or separation. It's already ready. The curls are already separated. So it actually gives me a better wear over time with my wash and go. I got so much information I've been sitting on. Once the section is done, I'm not gonna do anything else to it. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. The only thing I may do if I see a curl that's a little bit dry looking or out of place, I may just pull that one piece out and recurl it. Boom, not messing with it. So that is basically my product application for my wash and go. I won't add anything else on top of this while it's still in its damp state, but I may add some oils in it when it's fully dry or to sustain my wash and go for multiple days. <laughs> I got it out, I got it all out. So let me go ahead and finish the rest of my hair and I'll be right back. So 
the product is fully in. I don't like to do any scrunching. I just like to let it do what it do. I'll be back when it's dry. Whenever that is. <laughs> okay. It is now completely dry. It looks so good. I haven't done an air dry in so long. Nothing beats an air dry. So I just wanted to film this quick part so um, I could go to bed <laughs> and just show y'all how I get a little more volume when my hair is completely dry. So as you can see, this is one single section, but if I pull it out and I slowly glide my fingers across, I'll feel a natural separation. And I just follow that natural separation. I don't try to force it at all. Like that part just naturally separated. Ooh, don't do that. Sometimes I could get them a little smaller. If I can get them a little smaller, like if they'll naturally do that, like this piece, I'll do that because that means bigger hair with more definition. That one piece is now four different pieces. So I just try to be pretty gentle when it comes to separating the curls, just like you could see right here. This is one piece that I could split into three separate sections without altering the curl too much. It's a pretty tedious process. This is just how I like to do it. I'm gonna do some more of this separating tonight and I'll come back tomorrow to show y'all how I get more volume using a hair pick. And we're back. All right, it is day two. My curls held up last night, which I'm really happy about. So now, my pick. I like to start at the bottom and I like to slide it against the root of my hair and pull out a little bit. And then I go in and I shake it up. As I start getting more volume at the root of my hair, you may see I grab sections too and I just make my way down the hair shaft. This side has no picking. You can clearly see there's more volume in this area. It usually gets bigger than this, but because I was filming this, I made sure I thoroughly coated my hair in all the products. So it has a little weight to it, which I'm not mad about because the curl is still there and it feels really soft. It feels really healthy and hydrated. And that's more important than just having massive hair. She's happy, she looks good. Let me not hate on it. All right, I think I'm done, y'all. I'm really impressed at how my curls look, honestly. I think it's because I gave myself a trim recently, my first trim. I did pretty damn good, because look at it. If you need a trim yourself, go ahead and check the description area. I left a link, or you can also... All right, y'all, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I know this was a highly requested video. I'm very happy to have finally filmed it for y'all. Let me know in the comment section down below what kind of products you use. We're just gonna exchange gems. I will see y'all in my next video. Oh, and head to my Instagram. I think I posted a photo of me with my hair out. So you could, like, go let me know you watch this video. If the photo is not there, Go ahead and follow because you're already there. So, <laughs> trap. <laughs> Love y'all and see you in my next video. Peace out. Uh, 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 uh,